Hi, I'm Richard Shockley from the Virtual Bowling Academy, and here's our tip of the week. Today's tip, let's talk about footwork, and more specifically, two components of the footwork process that I've seen from a lot of the pros, maybe a little more advanced, but it's very, very important. Okay, here we are, back of the approach, near the dots. What I've seen from some of the best players in the world is what we call the crossover step. Okay, so let's demonstrate for you what that looks like. So I'm going to be here, it doesn't matter, front or back, where it's comfortable for you. Get in your regular stance. Remember we talked about the stance, our last series of tips. Knees flexed, ball in the waist position, ready to go. And here's the key. Let's, uh, let's go with a four-step delivery, okay? Four-step. What this is going to look like is you're going to initiate that first step and you're going to go slightly to the left. Now look what that does when you step left. It clears a path for your ball. Makes sense, right? It's going to clear a path. Let's look at it again. Step left. Let's look at it again from close up. Remember, we've got our knees flexed, right foot back. Here we go. The right way. Almost dead in front of the left. Okay, let's do it one more time. Step left. Now here's a problem that I see from a lot of my students way too far left. Look what that does. It's going to shift your body too far out. It's going to wash yourself to the left. The other problem, predominantly what I see, and which is what's been taught for many, many years, is to go straight out. Straight out. But look what that does. It creates a block for your bowling ball. Nowhere to go. So one more time, the right way that we want to do this first step, either on a four or the second step on a five, is to step left so the ball clears a path. Okay, now that we've talked about the crossover step, let's move up and talk about the step before the slide. Now let's talk about something very important in your footwork as you get closer to that foul line. You know, a lot of my students ask me, Coach, I was watching the Pro Bowlers Tour, or somebody said, hey, did you see that pro? They had a power step, or a pivot step, power step. What in the world is that? Well, I'm going to tell you, that is a very, very important ingredient to having really, really good leverage and balance and power as you get to that release point. Okay, here's what it looks like. Let's take a four-step delivery. And what you're looking for is a power step. Ready? Here we go. Step left on one. One. Two. Now here's the key. I want you to watch on three where this ends up. Ready? Here we go. Three. What most folks are doing here is they're going to come in and they're going to go long, too long on three. So what's the purpose of this? If you're going to look at this, one, two, three, this puts you in a very powerful position to drive, okay? You see where this, the, the hand is ready to come in? And this knee is in a shorter powered position to drive and get you more power and leverage at the bottom. Okay? That's very, very important. I want you to work on this power step, shorten it up a little bit, make your game really get some more power and leverage. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this week's tip. For a personalized lesson, you can send your videos to me at RichardShockley'sVirtualBowlingAcademy.com to help you take your game to another level.